yeah. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Abe and today I'm going to be showing you how to to how to to how to achieve the VHS look in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's a really easy technique. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I have my clip here. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is hit alt and drag up because I want to duplicate this a bunch of times. Just three times though, just three. So I'm going to click the top one. Actually, let's go to color first. Then you go to your top clip. Let's make this one blue. So we're going to click on this red circle. Click on your red, bring it all the way down. Whoops, click that, make sure it stays. Go to your green, click in the middle, bring it all the way down. Now, your clip is blue. Cool. The next one, let's actually hit this eyeball so we don't have to look at it. Um, let's make it green. So we're going to go to the red circle, bring it all the way down to zero. Blue circle, bring that all the way down to that corner. Now you've got a green image. We'll black that out. For the last one, let's make it red. Go to the green circle, bring it all the way down to the corner. Same thing with the blue. Okay, so now you should have three images. You got the red, the green, and the blue. So now what do we do? Let's go back into our editing software, editing part there. Click on the top, effect controls, screen. Go to the middle, opacity, screen. Now, as you can see, that we've screened all those colors into each other, it has, in fact, made the regular picture. So here's where the vhs -y part starts to happen. You go to your top clip, go to position, and maybe bring it two pixels to the right, 962. So we'll go to the left, the next one, and we'll bring it uh, two spots to the left, so we'll bring the position down to 958. Now let me blow this up so you guys can get a better look at this. 50%. So if you look closely, you can kind of start to see this green highlight on the left and this bluish purplish highlight on the red to the right. So because back in the day, that's kind of what happened to your images. They were layered, but not always perfectly in line. So you would get this slight offset of the colors. All right, next step. You want to go this little piece here, adjustment layer, hit OK, and bring that over all your clips. The next step in the process is to add the grain that commonly came with anything that was filmed on film. Amount of noise, 5. Let's do 5. 5 color noise starting to look even more vhs -y every step of the way. The last, second to last actually, this is the second to last step. Let's go to Wave Warp. Now what this is going to generate is that little line that you occasionally see um, like going through your footage as you watched it. Just a little tracking line. So we're going to create that. So we're going to bring it in, okay? And we're going to go from sine to square direction we're gonna go 180 we're gonna start there because the tracking bar goes left to right and then we're gonna go pinning all edges so these little black pieces can go away there you go and now the width of these bars you want really wide because we only want to see one of those lines there you go maybe we'll go 750 flat so this is a bit much for a tracking line I just want it to be a little bit more subtle so we're going to go to height and maybe make it 2. And that looks much better. A lot more subtle. And now you have this nice, beautiful line going through your footage. Now the last part, I mean all of these I guess are pretty much you can use them or not, depending on what type of VHS look you're going for. But the common um, aspect ratio was 640 by 480. So we're going to go into our settings and achieve that. Go to sequence settings, frame size. 640 by 480. 
That'll give you the proper aspect ratio. So this was filmed in 1080, so it's really big. So we can shrink it back down to whatever fits in that square. Okay, 49. Let's do 49. You can change the sequence settings first, so you don't have to do that process. Okay, let's render this out and see what our final product looks like. Basically, that's it. Those are all the concepts, and you just tweak those to your own taste. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking and all that stuff. Um, leave a comment below if you got something to say. And uh, until then, I mean, just enjoy. Enjoy the technique and have fun with it. I'll see you guys later.